Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to present you a new PS from APC. I paid for it around $150 and I bought it because I need to protect my surveillance system but also the alarm system of my home. This is a 520 watt backup UPS and I have a consumption of around I estimate 100 watts. So according to the producer, this should be enough for 35 to 40 minutes of backup. But I'm going to test it and I'm going to let you know what is the performance. So this is how the box looks like. Here we have a picture with the product. On this side, we have another picture with the product. As I told you, it has 850 volt amp and 520 watts. On this side of the box, we have another picture with the products. Here we have some serial numbers. Yeah, and this is it. It has three years warranty. And as you can see, the estimated price is 100 euro, but I can tell you that it cost much more. Yeah, this is the box. So let's jump inside to see what we can find in there. This is a quick start guide. I need to read it after the unboxing. And this is the product. It's quite heavy. I think it had around four to five kilos. So it comes in this plastic bag. This is the power cord. Okay, but I want to see what else we have inside the box and then I'll present you the product. So the box is empty right now and in the box we also find a USB, uh, USB cable to RJ45 connector. Yeah. Okay, this is how the product looks like. It's brand new, so it's matte plastic, quality plastic. Here we have power on and power off button. Here we have another button, I think it's the mute button. Here we have a USB-C connector and this is a USB-A connector. If you want to connect your smartphone or something else. Uh, here you have this sticker which tells you that you need to connect the battery first. So I will connect the battery later, but let me take the sticker out. And now as you can see here we have eight sockets. Six of, the, six of them are for battery supply and search and two of them are only for electricity search. So these two are for electricity search. So if you connect something here when the power is off, the device will be off too. And these six are battery plus electricity search, meaning that when the power is off, if you connect uh, a device here, then the device will be powered by the battery. Okay, on this side we have a paper saying that the device was tested and everything is okay. I need to take it out and probably I need to keep it. Okay, on this side nothing, on this side nothing. Here we have some connectors. I don't know what they are for. Here we have a data port. Here we have a button. I need to read the manual. I don't know what this button does. And here is where the battery is located. I need to take out this cover to connect the battery. And the model is BE850G2GR. So as I told you, it's a 520 watts UPS. And here we have other information. Okay, so let's connect the battery now. We need to slide this door here. Okay, take it out. We need to take out the battery. 
probably it's easier this way yes okay so as you can see one part is already connected what i need to do is to connect this one here the cable is very short so let me see if i manage to connect it i'll try to put it back a little bit yes Okay, now it's maximum push and now I try to push it back but I want to arrange the cable a bit. Yeah, I think this is it and now I have to put back the cover. okay now it looks in place so what is happening if we press this button it started and it seems that the battery is fully charged okay so guys this is the product this is the signal that there is no power source to the ups meaning that it's as you can see is not plugged in but i think you can cancel the sound if you press this button as you can see here now it's mute and if you press again now the led is off okay what i'm going to do i'm going to put this in place where i'm going to use it and i'm going to test it for a week to see how it performs as you can see this is the sound which tells you that there is no power connected to the battery but again as i told you if you want to mute the sound you just press this button and you are not going to hear the sound but i think that it's important to hear the sound to know when you don't have power so as i told you i'm going to test it for one week i'm going to put all my devices here i have as i told you an NVR with six cameras, so the surveillance system. I have a alarm system with multiple sensors, and I have an electric gate which I want to connect. Okay, yes, which I want to connect to this one. Um, and I don't know, probably I'm going to use this for uh, other uh, devices that I want to protect. But again, these two ports are not giving me battery supply. I'm going to close the video now, I'm going to test it and I'm going to come back after one week. Okay guys, so this is where I put the device. As we speak we have a power outage. And right now all my devices are on this UPS. As you can see it already consumed one level of battery. And the sound is from, I would say, 30 to 30 seconds. It's a beep, letting me know that there is no electricity. This is the beep. Yeah, but again, you can turn it off if you want from this button. I'm really curious to see how long the battery will last. So I'll keep an eye on it and I'll let you know. Okay guys, so after five days of use, I'm back. I have to tell you that I'm really pleased with the performance of this device. It's exactly what I was expecting. As I told you, I'm using it for my surveillance system and for my alarm system. I estimate that the power consumption of all my devices is around 100 to 120 watts. And with this 100, let's say 100 watts consumption, this UPS lasts for around 25 minutes. For me, this is enough. It's okay to, to make sure that everything in the house and around the house is okay. Usually the power outage in my area, it's around 10 to 15 minutes maximum. Very, very rarely it's uh, more than 10 minutes. So for me, it didn't make sense to buy a bigger device. But if you have bigger power outages, 
I recommend you to buy a bigger device. But let's come back to this device. As you can see it right now, it is powered because it's plugged into the wall. And as you can see, it's charging. We have three LEDs full and the last LED is blinking, meaning that this is charging. As I show you at the beginning of the video, this is the button that you need to press if you want to mute the beep, not to hear when the power outage is on. And this is the on-off button if you press it for two seconds. When you hear a beep, you release it and then the device is off. Like this, now it's off. And if you want to power it on again, you press and now it's on. Again, in my case, for 100 watt uh, devices, this lasts for around 25 minutes. On the producer website, it tells me that it should last for around 35 minutes. But you know that uh, usually they exaggerate. But test it for real, for re in real life scenarios, is 25 minutes. I'm going to keep it. I'm really pleased with the performance. And uh, I hope that, oops, and I really hope that I'm not going to, to need it too much. I hope that my electricity supplier is doing a good job in providing me electricity. But this is just for backup. Okay, guys, if you like this video and if you find it useful, please subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks.